Ways to quit smoking So, you want to quit smoking, but do you know why? Because it's bad for you isn't good enough. To get motivated, you need a powerful personal reason to quit. Maybe you want to protect your family from second-hand smoke. Maybe the thought of lung cancer frightens you. Or maybe you'd like to look and feel younger. Choose a reason that is strong enough to outweigh the urge to light up. Don't go cold turkey. It may be tempting to toss your cigarette and declare you've quit, plain and simple, but going cold turkey isn't easy to do. 95% of people who try to stop smoking without therapy or medication end up relapsing. The reason is that nicotine is addictive. The brain becomes used to having nicotine and craves it. In its absence, the symptoms of nicotine withdrawal occur. Try nicotine replacement therapy. When you stop smoking, nicotine withdrawal may make you feel frustrated, depressed, restless or irritable. The craving for just one drug may be overwhelming. Nicotine replacement therapy can help reduce these feelings. Studies suggest nicotine gum, lozenges and patches can help double your chances of quitting successfully when used with an intensive behavioral program. But using these products while smoking is generally not recommended. Ask about prescription pills. To ease nicotine withdrawal without using products that contain nicotine, ask your doctor about prescription medications. There are pills that help reduce cravings by affecting chemicals in the brain. They may also make smoking less satisfying if you do pick up a cigarette. Other drugs can help reduce troubling withdrawal symptoms, such as depression or inability to concentrate. Manage stress. One reason people smoke is that the nicotine helps them relax. Once you quit, you'll need another way to cope with the stress. Try getting regular massages, listening to relaxing music or learning yoga or tai chi. If possible, avoid stressful situations during the first few weeks after you stop smoking. Avoid alcohol and other triggers. Certain activities may boost your urge to smoke. Alcohol is one of the most common triggers, so try to drink less when you first quit. If coffee is a trigger, switch to tea for a few weeks. And if you usually smoke after meals, find something else to do instead, like brushing your teeth or chewing gum. Get moving. Physical activity can help reduce nicotine cravings and ease some withdrawal symptoms. When you want to reach for a cigarette, put on your inline skates or jogging shoes instead. Even mild exercise is helpful such as walking the dog or pulling weeds in the garden. The extra calories you burn will also ward off weight gain as you quit smoking.